Hello, in this example we're going to talk about how to configure IP forwarding on a Windows Server. Let's go ahead and reference this diagram. In this lab we're going to build Workstation 1 and Workstation 3. The objective is to be able to send ICMP packets or ping packets between the 192.168.1 network and the 192.168.2 network. We're going to be using a Windows Server and enable IP forwarding. For this demonstration we're going to be using two Windows XP workstations and one Windows 2008 R2 server. Okay, I'm at the command prompt of the Windows 2008 server. Let me go ahead and do an IP config from the command prompt, verify that I have two network adapters. And you'll notice here I have local air connection. I have the 192.168.1.254 address on adapter 1 and 192.168.2.254 IP address on adapter 2. Okay, next I've opened up the two Windows workstations and I'm on Windows XP 1 and I'll do an IP config here and you'll notice my IP address is 192.168.1.1 the default gateway is 192.168.1.254 which is one of the interfaces of our 2008 server on XP2 I'll do the same thing and you'll notice that my IP address is 192.168.2.1 and my default gateway is 192.168.2.254 which is the other interface on the Windows server let's go ahead and verify that I can ping my default gateway Do that from each of the workstations. You'll notice I have network connectivity to each of the Windows Server interfaces from each subnet. Let's go ahead and verify that we cannot ping across the Windows Server. And of course, the ping times out. This is because the Windows Server is not acting as a router or IP forwarding, therefore, the packets are only reaching the default gateway and not passing through the server. We can do the same test from the Windows Server. Let's make sure I can ping each of my nodes. And the server can ping each of the workstations. So the next step is to either turn this server into a router or just enable IP forwarding. This video tutorial covers how to enable IP forwarding. So the Windows operating system actually doesn't provide us with an MMC console to enable IP forwarding. We need to go ahead and make some registry changes. So go ahead and open up the registry editor. Once the registry editor is open, go ahead and navigate to the following location. HKEY local machine, system, current control set, services. Scroll down to TCP IP, then parameters. Look for the item called IP enable router. A zero value means that the IP forwarding is disabled. If you set this value to 1, you enable TCP IP forwarding for all network connections that are installed on the server. So let's go ahead and double click it, change the value to 1, click OK. Okay, once you've updated that setting, go ahead and uh, restart the server. Okay, once the server is rebooted, go ahead and log back in. Let me go ahead and bring up the Windows XP systems. Let's go ahead and verify the IP configuration again on Windows XP. First one is 1.1. 1 .1. Second one is 2.1. Let's go ahead and see if we can ping across the uh, server. And there you go. The Windows XP workstation on the 192.168.1 network was successfully able to ping across the server to the 192.168.2 network. Let's go ahead and try the same thing from the second Windows uh, XP system. And of course, the uh, ping packets make it across as well. If we do a trace route, you'll see that the packets are crossing the uh, Windows server. And as you can see here, the first hop was the Windows server's uh, network interface, 192.168.2.254 on the same subnet. The next hop was actually the Windows XP server on the other subnet, 192.168.1.1. So this validates that we're actually making it across the Windows server. Even though the Windows server is not acting as a full-fledged router, it is uh, simply taking the IP packets that it receives on one interface and putting those packets on the other Windows interface. So in essence, we have a basic router working on our network, passing packets from one interface to another. Well, that concludes this video tutorial on how to configure IP forwarding on a Windows server. Thank you for watching.